I'm starting to believe the second you join the kick platform and you press that start streaming on OBS, you get it, you get hit with a dose of stupidity. Nothing in the world matters anymore except satisfying those viewers. Everything is blank and you become a whole different person. That's why there's something called an internet personality and there's like 90% of people. They are someone in front of the camera. That's the personality you know and there's someone completely else off the camera just like the movie Glass. That's when you know your favorite YouTuber, streamer, whatever comes out doing the nasty shit that you never would have guessed they would have in a million years done there's a lot of people who stage their content there's a lot of people who plan their streams there's nothing wrong with that but the second this curse of a platform came into it known as kick came into our lives everything is taking downhill for the next generation and the internet being big part of our lives literally everyone your little brother you your mother your father your grandfather everyone's on the internet searching for something they want to cry they want to be sad they want to be happy, they want to be entertained, they want to kill time at work, they want to skip time at school, watching TikTok videos, watching YouTube videos, asking, the, typing on the internet to know why my armpit hair are not growing, asking the internet why my shit is so brown, seeing, searching up, doing researches on tutorials on how to grow a beard fast, and having all these cancers on the kick platform streaming every single day, it does affect people. The difference is someone like me and you or older, when we watch, we see these, we make fun of them. We're like, where are their parents? Who raised these donkeys? And what do people younger than us see when they see these IRL streams? Fast cars, girls, money, fame, having those clicks, having those views. Because if you want to be popular in high school or college, if you have those views, if you have those uh, likes, you are going to be elite and everyone will be looking up to you because you are an influencer. So how does this affect the kids? This will become their lifelong dream. And in order to achieve that dream, they have to put on the internet personality and act like complete idiots. The first corrupted person, the first haiwan came out today. Now you're probably telling yourself, wait, I know this kid. I've seen him somewhere on the internet. If you watch my videos, yes, this is the same kid that we said we have to uh, take him down, tie him down and put pepper on his mouth and uh, some onions on his mouth because he has a very big mouth and he needs to watch his tongue. This is the same kid who got Neon banned, Vitaly's bestie, who Vitaly brought this kid to a... Um, you know, the Vitaly versus Modine, the Misfit event, I believe, and unleash this kid on Neon, calling Neon a fort-eyed fuck. That was pretty funny what he said, but the rest of it, he needs pepper on his mouth. But little did Vitaly know, the second he brought this kid to that event, he added fuel on the fire. He gave this kid a platform, and now this kid is a full-time IRL kick streamer on his way to achieve his goals by acting like an idiot, a Jack Doherty Jr. and a Neon Jr. making his way to all the girls' money, cars, and fame. This individual, Haiwan, went live yesterday and the whole stream was just creating and causing problems. You disturb someone's life, disturb their peace, hanging out with friends, you get a reaction out of them, views, fame, money, content, anything for that content. This is the first stage of this toxic stream. There is a lot of things that happen in the stream. Here, they went to these two ladies, they took fries from the plate, wanted to get a, a reaction out of them, or uh, waiting for everyone, thinking everyone in the comments will be like, W's, W's, oh my God, you're so cool, I could have never, social anxiety is scared of him, oh my God, like. They started the stream with that idea, but little did they know, people were laughing at him, not with him. Do not do that. You don't do that to people. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Stop filming me. You're a nobody. It's it's a live stream. You can't stop me. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Give me the phone. Now you're not touching my fucking phone. Touch my phone. I'm gonna actually do something. Are you gonna beat me up? Back the fuck up. Back the fuck. I will. I want to know how old are you? Five. 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 As you can see, bro is not in danger. Bro is the danger. Withstanding with his stance, with his 
hairstyle and folding his fist i mean it's kind of understandable when he does this to a woman because you know he's still at the stages of oh my god ew little does he know after two three years he will be dying for one but him confronting this adult woman saying these things uh, cursing at her saying what you will do i will come here i will show you it, this is a, a signal that this is a sign that he never got whooped as a kid by his mom. And I think it's very important because the second you eat your mom's slippers coming boomeranging to you, that is when you learn how to respect your elders. Do you? Do you? All right, hold up. Do you? Don't do that yeah, again. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, shut the fuck up. I said this in my previous videos, and I'm going to say it again. Kids nowadays, most of them growing up with their heads inside their iPads and their parents' heads inside their phones. And them having all this access to the internet, to all these platforms, is seeing what they want to watch is going to have an influence with, to them as well. And they're going to learn that, oh, if a kick streamer does this, this is going to be cool. This is why I said in the last video, and I'll say it now. If you come across a savage kid who tells you, shut the fuck up. A 10, 11 year old who doesn't still have pubes on his face. Now, yes, it is illegal. If you do anything, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. But no camera, no video, no evidence. I'm going to leave it at that. Second stage of the video, they get into a 2v2 throwing marshmallow punches at each other. Third stage of the stream, bro literally went like this and thinking, you know, he looks cool in front of everyone on stream. Yo, 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 enjoy, yo. For the hey, fucking stream. Anything for hey. the content. Yo, ready, bro. Yeah, enjoy the rest of the day. Yeah, safe, buddy. Anything for the content. And the person who gave him the thing that he just did on the stream... 100% he needs to be arrested and I am definitely sure he will be because he is just in front of the camera committing a crime to a minor and before you go all crazy and be like kick needs to ban this kid how is this allowed he's already banned do not worry now we don't know how long he's going to be banned for you know with the kicks history but there's a very high chance he is not going to come back because he is literally 11 years old. There's no doubt in my head that he lied about his age on his sign up on Cake and Cake found out since he went mega viral and that is it. And for sure he's going to have a comeback in the future as he starts growing pubes on his face. Now the reason why we say you know the next generation is ruined is because of the influence of these streamers these kick streamers nowadays and they are 100 percent seeing the next generation and they are disappointed in themselves as well for what they influenced on the young generation actually wait no they're born in 2005 6 they're 18 19 themselves fuck's sake bro 2006 or 18 now well i feel old and kick going forward with all these views and all these streamers they're having on their platforms all this attention they are they have a very bad reputation even if they want to change it up they want to you know earn more money because you know first you got to market yourself whatever you're selling then you can change few settings few qualities in whatever you want to do and if even if they want to change it they are forever going to be known as the cancer platform so whatever the ceo of k gamblers members they want to do to the platform good luck to them and moving forward to the next generation as the years go by these uh, Jack Dehorty Juniors are going to double by time. They're going to be more and more. They're still going to be decent streamers to watch, but definitely not on kick. And 7% of the people who watch my videos are between the age of 13 and 17. If you're watching this, this is not cool. One advice I will tell you about streaming, do not start at kick. You are going to be a joke on the internet for a few weeks, and that is it. Your reputation and your career is over. Now look at this. While you watching it all the way through, watching the sunset rise, it's getting romantic, it's 7 a.m. right now. And if you're still bored and you still want to watch more videos, you see these two here, click on one of these. Thank you for watching, take care, bye.